we could lose our place to live and our whole community. Duncan Beaton wants to stay put. He's lived on the 19th floor of this housing co-op in Burnaby for nearly a decade. All the residents here chip in on maintenance and pay well below market rent. You know, we just, we are a little village within a big city and the people just thrive on it. The 244 unit affordable housing complex is home to single parents and vulnerable seniors on fixed incomes, but they fear their housing security is at risk. Well, the anxiety around maybe losing everything you've been in for 35, you know, 30, 25, 20 years is very real. The property is owned by a pension fund for the International Union of Operating Engineers, Local 115. It's been leased to the co-op for 40 years, but that ends on October 31st. The property is now up for sale on the private market, stoking fears that new landlords could turn it into market rental housing. And what that means is that hundreds of low-income senior households will be threatened uh, with the loss of their housing security and potentially homeless in one of the most expensive housing markets in Canada. In a statement, the pension fund said it attempted to sell the property to the province through BC Housing, but despite best efforts, they were unable to reach an agreement. They say they will not entertain offers from prospective purchasers without assurance that there will be no evictions or rent evictions. Still, critics say promises only go so far. We've heard that before and, and frankly it's empty words. Uh, there's no way to bind a, a buyer uh, to treat a, a tenant population a certain way after a sale. The people that live here have lived a long time and we're a little beyond promises and warm feelings and prayers and all that crap. But the pension plan says its decision is made, so only time will tell what the future holds for these residents whose lives are up in the air. John Hernandez, CBC News, Burnaby.